This is black garlic. It is a very unique ingredient. The dark coloration comes from the Maillard reaction. And if you've heard that term before, it's what we all love in steaks. This caramelization you see right here is called the Maillard reaction. And it is absolutely delicious. But going back to the black garlic, we're going to be using this to maximize the Maillard reaction on a steak. And to use it, it's pretty simple. The first thing to do is to make a paste. And that you can use almost anything. A cleaver will do the work, which is basically smashing them up as best as you can. Or you can also use a fork. Anything will work. We just want to smash them up real good until it becomes a paste. As in the end, you are left with something like this. It does not look appetizing. But hey, we're going to find out if it's going to go well with steaks real shortly. As this is the star of today's show. A beautiful ribeye steak. Notice that it's not prime grade. It is choice. But even though it's not the highest quality, you can see a little bit of intramuscular fat. That is a good thing. We're going to be doing several different experiments with black garlic. But the very first one, we're going to be dry aging for 24 hours. We just got to spread out the black garlic all over the steak and make sure every single edge is fully covered. As you can see, once I was done, this is what I was left with. I'll tell you what, this is not something you see every day. Now, if that's not an experiment, you tell me what is. Because now that we have fully covered, the only thing left to do is to let it dry age for 24 hours in my regular refrigerator. For that, I transfer it to a baking tray and into the refrigerator it goes and I'll see you tomorrow. As that was happening, I went ahead and prepared the second steak. Now with this one, I'm going to be treating it a little bit different. The first thing I did was to season it. And for that, I kept it really simple with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As always, I made sure to season both sides. That is the key of having a great steak. Because the next thing to do was to go ahead and add the black garlic right on top. As once I was done, the only thing left to do was to throw it in the bag, vacuum seal it because it was now ready for sous vide. And that was perfect because it allowed me time to go ahead and make a side dish. And this one I've never seen done before because it is black garlic mashed potatoes and to make it here's what i did into a food processor i threw in two black garlic followed by melted butter and a little bit of roasted bell peppers blended on high in the end i was left with this black garlic compound butter throw it in some steaks and it's gonna turn out fantastic but hey we're gonna be making some mashed potatoes with it so after boiling my potatoes in salted water i went ahead and mashed them up threw in my black garlic compound butter in there and mixed everything well as now it was time to add in some cream cheese followed by some milk i mixed everything well and combine those ingredients together. As once that was done, I throw everything into a baking dish. Now that was really easy. However, I did not like how it looks on top. So I wanted to go ahead and make a nice crust. Into a pan, I threw in some butter and let it melt. Once that was done, I went in with some breadcrumbs. Mixed everything well to incorporate with butter and threw it right on top of the mashed potato. I spread everything evenly and made some dimples into it. Take a look. Again, this is an experiment as well. I have no idea if it's going to turn out good or bad, but we're going to let you know real shortly. As the only thing left to do was to throw it in the oven and get a nice little crust. And in the end, I was left with this. Now, is it going to be good? Well, we're going to find out real shortly. Put it down in the comments below and let me know right now if if you think it's gonna turn out good or bad because by this time my 24 hours dry age black garlic experiment steak was ready and take a look at this it almost looks identical as yesterday for some reason black garlic is a great insulator because I see almost no difference but just like every dry age experiment the next thing to do is to go ahead and remove the crust working with my knife to make sure everything was removed I went to town not only did I do the top but also the edges and once I was done take a look what I was left with now that is a funny looking steak as the only thing left to do was to throw in the seasoning and I went with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Just like the previous steak, I made sure to season it well. The only thing left was to throw it in the bag, vacuum seal it and it was ready for sous vide. Talking about that, I'll be cooking all of the steaks including a control one at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours and I cannot wait to find out which one is gonna turn out best. What do you think it's gonna happen? Is it gonna turn out fantastic or a complete disaster? I'll tell you one thing, black garlic looks kind of weird whenever you put it on top of the steak because the color is black and it's not that appetizing. At the same time, black garlic tastes fantastic. It's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit savory. With all that being said, is it gonna be good on steaks? Well, we're about to find out right now because the steaks are ready, we are hungry, and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. That does not look appetizing. I know exactly what you're thinking. Google, this one is going straight down the drain. Well, 
Don't judge it until you try it, all right? And that's exactly what we're about to do. Even though the steak looked like it was already perfectly charred because of the black garlic, we still need to put a wonderful sear. And for that, I'm gonna be using my good old flamethrower. It never lets me down. Always put a nice, wonderful crust on every single steak. But with all that being said, I know what you're thinking. I know my steaks don't look that good right now, but watch this. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks. Are you hungry, Momo? I'm starving to Google, but uh, did you sear that a little extra crispy today or Maybe something? Maybe the flamethrower was extra crispy today. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the flamethrower, everybody. The flamethrower is perfect every single time. You guys know what it is. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Also, I have a little side dish, but let's go for the steaks. Okay. We go this direction today. All right. Go for it, Momozine. This one looks like a control. <laughs> you know it. You better believe it. All right, let's try this. Very first one, everybody, so that we have a base to judge from. Yes, Mama? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Wow. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. That's mm. a sous vide steak, the way it's supposed to be. Absolutely amazing. What do you think, wow. Mama? Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> All right, let's go for the second one. Wait, hold, on. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I skipped the first one, but you know we have to have the side dish. All right, let's try that. This is a little weird, though. What is this? I know, right? It's a little glue. <laughs> It's mashed potato. What? Yeah, but it's a funny mashed potato. That doesn't look like mashed potato. Yeah, I know, right? I didn't test it for salt or seasoning, but we're gonna find out right now. You ready? Let's do this. All right, let's see. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. I'll tell you that right now. What do you think, Mama? If you like mashed potatoes, but you're tired of the same old mashed potatoes <laughs> over and over? Yeah. Do whatever he did over there. Even though it's a little red and then some black spots inside. It doesn't matter, it tastes amazing. <laughs> tastes really, really nice. That's all I can say about mm. that. Are you ready for the burnt steak, black steak? No. Nope. Enough, let's go for it. Okay, I'm excited. Smells unique. Smells unique. All right, cheers. Cheers, guys. A little sweet. It's a lot sweet. It is half a tablespoon short of being a full tablespoon it's sweet. <laughs> That's what I like, Mama, about all honesty. Do you enjoy it or you don't? I usually like a little sweet, but... That's too much. This one's too much. That's what happened with this special ingredient, which he doesn't know yet. It's a sweet ingredient and uh, it becomes a sweet steak. That's all I can say. Not bad, yeah. by the way. No, no, not bad. I don't know if I recommend it or not because it's not my favorite. Are you ready for that one, Mama? No, really. I want to go back to the original I know, one. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this one. Let's see, uh, just to make it official. Let's see if this one made any difference or not. As you guys know, I cooked this one right here, which is the one that we previously tried with the special ingredient inside of the bag. Mm -hmm. Now, this one here, I dry aged it with the special ingredient, Mama. And I dry age it only for 24 hours. You ready to try, Mama? Is this special ingredient like squid ink? Or <laughs> like steak? squid games? No, no. <laughs> no, it's not squid ink. All right, you ready for it? Let's All right, go. let's see. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Hmm. Mm. Very different steak. Very different, but it's still sweet, damn it. It changed the flavor of the steak. You're absolutely right. It's not bad by any means. Mm. No, we're not no. saying that it's bad at all. Actually, I prefer this one over that one. Yeah, I, mean, I agree too, because it's less sweet. Yeah. The problem with this ingredient, by the way, the special ingredient is black garlic. Oh, we had black garlic. Before. We had black garlic, yeah, but I wanted to dry it and see what happens if there's any difference. Big difference. Big difference, right? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, using black garlic with the steak sous vide like this, not the best idea because it's kind of sweet and it brings that sweetness to the steak. It's not bad, but I just much rather have it savory. Right, Mama? Look at Mama going for that second one. <laughs> By the way, there's some black garlic also on the mashed potato. Mm, but I okay. guess in the mashed potato is a good combo. Yeah. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Look at him liking this area. <laughs> the savory is better, huh, Mama? <laughs> if you did enjoy it, make sure you give that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.